hello my loves and welcome back to my channel now per demand i'm coming to you guys with this simple cool tone eye look and lip look so if you want to see how i achieve this look just keep on watching so first i'm gonna start off by cooling the face and spritzing it with some mac fix plus then i'm gonna be taking my all-time favorite lots cream concentrate moisturizer and I'm going to be taking some good old scotch tape, taking a couple of small pieces and placing them underneath my lash line for a nice crisp eye look. I'm going to be taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and use that as a base for my shadows. I'm going to take my Tartlet Matte Palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Free Spirit and placing that all over the eyelid and underneath the brow. I'm going to be going in with this taupey gray shade in Power Player and placing that on the outer V using a Sigma E35 brush. Then I'm going to take a clean brush and keep blending. Now I'm going to be going in with the shade Force of Nature and placing that into the entire crease for a nice transition. Now I'm going to give myself a nice wing liner using the Inglot number no. 77 gel liner. Now the tape is the best guide for that perfect wing. Now just remove the tape and you'll see that nice crisp line. Now on to my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Now I'm going to be taking the Nivea for Men Pulse Shave Balm in the sensitive version and placing that all over my face as a primer for my foundation. Thank you to Nikki Tutorials for this tip. Using a sample I had here of the new MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and this is in the shade NC20. Using my F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma, just placing that all over my face and then blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Now for concealing and highlighting, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this one is in NW20. Now I'm going to blend it using my Beauty Blender and for under the eyes, I'm going to wet the Beauty Blender with MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm going to set that concealer using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Compact and using that bronzer just to warm up the face. Now from the MAC Wash and Dry Collection, I'm going to be taking the bronzer in Delicates for contouring the face. Now I'm going to finish up the eyes by taking the shade Best Friend and Bombshell mixed together and blending that under my lash line. I'm going to be taking the Milani blush in Luminoso to give myself a beautiful peachy glow. And for highlight, I'm going to be taking the Gerard Cosmetics Start Powder in Maryland and I'm just going to highlight to the gods. Now onto the lips, I'm going to be lining them using the MAC Burl Lip Liner. And of course I forgot to curl my lashes and put mascara. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Chaotic Lash Mascara. Just a couple hundred coats of that. And to deepen the eye look a little bit, I'm going to be taking the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last eyeliner in black and just placing that on my waterline. Now to finish off the lips, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Aisha. Good Lord, that's a long name. And it is just an absolutely gorgeous purple. And finally, just set in the face with some MAC Fix Plus. 
So that is the completed look. It is a very simple cool tone matte eye look with just a gorgeous purple cool tone lip. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.